If you want to photograph female models and you want to do better and you want to know how to pose them, you want to know what works really good in a photo, what doesn't, what's effective, what's going to get you booked more, this video is going to teach you a lot. This is an extension of a series that I have on my TikTok channel. My TikTok is right here. By the way, I'm not at my house. I'm at my friend's pool house and their house is right here. So I just needed some good lighting and somewhere quiet for the day to record. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through LA Models, which is a really, really great modeling agency out of obviously. Obviously Los Angeles and I'm gonna put my finger on the screen and my laptop is right here so I'm gonna put my finger on the screen and what will happen is wherever it's a trust thing here so wherever my finger stops on is that models portfolio we're gonna go through and critique it the critique is not going to be so much about the model it was what the photographer could have done better with that model and stop we are stopping at Jory. I just saw a little preview. She can move. Boom. Okay. I love this photo, but I think I love the lighting first. So I just want to look at everything. So lighting really, really great. The only thing that, oh man, don't pick it apart. Don't pick it apart. But I'm going to talk about this video to make sure that it's better. So a photographer could have done better. Honestly, I don't see much wrong with it. The only thing that I would do is maybe clean some of the scratches at the bottom of the shoe. And I know it seems very, very minimal, but those things do, because I did notice that first, like immediately after I saw her, I, my eye went to the bottom of the shoe. So you never want the quote unquote mistakes or imperfections to become part of the photo. Because one of the things that we want to do is sort of sell perfection as problematic as that is. I am aware of that. So let's go to the next thing. So digitals is something that is the most plain, boring photo you can imagine. Very minimal makeup, minimal, if any lighting, natural lighting, just like this. And it's nothing special, no retouching. That is for the client and the photographer that is going to be hiring them to be able to see them at their raw stage. So that what they're doing is they're giving you the starting ground once. And this is Jory's great. So we get to see her body. We get to see the bust. We get to see the waistline. We get to see the hair. We get to see all these different things without anything special. So I'm like, okay, cool. If I am photographing for, let's say guest jeans, then I can get an idea of what she looks like and, and how she would fit in the, in the garments. Okay. So let's go first. Here we go. I mean, damn Jory, you're good. I really, really cannot find anything wrong with the photo. Now, some people will say put a little bounce here because the, the hair is causing a shadow, but that's a stylistic choice. I actually think she's thinking uh, there's nothing. This is a great photo. Good job, agent, whoever that one is. The photo on the left, she has all kinds of expressions. I would hire her in a heartbeat, but I hate that the hair covered that one eye. Either cover the whole damn thing or get out of there. It's so distracting. I, I keep going like this. <sighs> like literally, that's what I keep feel like I need to do. Woo, the one on the right. Damn, Jory, I want to photograph you. I'll tell you why it's great, okay? Her front toe is pointing all the way. So it's pointy. It's not like this. So look at my hand right now. Whatever is closest to the camera is going to seem the biggest. Like my hand is clearly not the size of my torso and head. So this is the closest to the camera. Now, if her shoe was to the side, that thing would be massive. But pointing forward, it's smaller. So that's what she did. Really, really pointed that toe hands, uh, hanging on like the knee like this. Great. She's, I mean, she's thinking about something. So I just, everything just gravitates towards this beautiful photo. Jory, look at the camera. I feel like this was like a BTS photo. So look at this. Let me go back. Look at Jory on left or right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Even with that thing covering her eye, the, the hair covering the eye. Cool, cool outfit, but who are you? You're just looking away. Kill that shot. Sitting on the ladder, I actually kind of like it because she's doing something. She doesn't necessarily have to look at the camera at all times. I do hope that she does have something where she's looking at the camera too, but um, this one works and it's great and good even lighting. You know, the, I can see both shoes. They are great. I can see like the, the front leg, the leg nearest the camera is the one that should be up usually and not down. That is done correctly here. We see the jacket, but the jacket is not crinkled all the way in the front. That works really, really well. Good. Woo! 
Ooh, Jory, this is beautiful. The, both of them. Even though the left one here, this is so good. It is so, so good. Just great. I, I just think that you're, you're saying something. You, you are really thinking something and that's what's important. So when you're photographing a model, I said this in a male model video too, which that one is actually down linked right down below. That's where that's at. If you're not thinking about something and it doesn't have to be thinking about world peace, think about Medicare for all, think about a hamburger, think about a pet that you no longer have. Think about a friend from second grade that you all of a sudden miss. Think about something and it goes from this. So I'm thinking about nothing to like I feel my pupils kind of enlarging so I'm thinking I literally thought about a hamburger just so you know okay Jory this is awesome the one that you're looking at the right <sighs> she's not looking at the camera you don't always have to because the one on the left is directly on so it just works beautifully that's right tough girl on the left damn Jory knows how to pose she's not blocking the jacket so when they pose when people go like this you're blocking the jacket. When people go like this, you're blocking the jacket. She's like this. I see the jacket. Okay, so really great. I see the gloves, everything. She's a great model. It's cool, it's not the best. I think, I, I don't know where she is. Like her uh, eyes are hiding in like the shadow of the hair and she looks like her neck hurts a little bit. Not that great. It's not a terrible picture. It's not great. When you compare it to something on the left and then look at the one on the right, I'm like, mm, just go like this. Look a little angry. Uh, give me some expression. Just great. I love jewelry. Look at this all pink one. Front foot pointing at the camera, not like this. The side one is just a little bit further back, but that's to the side. So she's, if she's advertising shoes, she's showing us the front and the back. And it is a little bit big, but I think the focus goes on the shoe. So that rule sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. The way her purse is hanging and then it just looks natural. I believe she's actually sitting there having a conversation with someone. So um, what makes it look natural? Well, here's three things I really love in this, in this image. If you're photographing shoes, one is to the side, one is front. So I'm seeing both angles of the shoe. If it's a purse, that's the ad. I'm clearly seeing the purse and like living as far as like in day-to-day -day life. And then um, she's not doing the smush. She's actually going like this. Cause if it's not, it would really be that, okay? She's going like that. Don't smush the face and you're gonna do really good. The one on the right, it's not a bad photo. It just doesn't compare to the left. So I'm not even gonna speak on it. Like, I kind of want to know what's up with her armpit. Like, it just doesn't work. Eh. One on the left, I just see pure innocence, inquisitive, open-eyed about the world. I believe that. And she's great here. The one on the right, she's inviting you. Like, are you gonna come up? Are, are, are you gonna follow me? Are you coming along? Are you gonna join? Works beautifully while at the same time showing me the beautiful dress or the earrings or I don't think it's a shoe ad because I'm seeing the back of it. Shoes should be side and front. One on the left, I just think she has better ones. It's not a bad photo. I think she's a little like this. Just make sure that models, their shoulders drop. Short, taller. Insecure, confident. So I don't like, I think it's the shoulder pads of the jacket, but then the one to the right of it, it's her shoulders dropped a little and I see a longer neck and the longer neck is not only is a neck very sexual, men and women, but a neck is also, it displays height. Like a, I wish I had a longer neck. Too late now. I mean, I can't do anything about it. That's how I'm born with it, but that's it. This is, oh, mm, no, it's not a good photo. I'm seeing half her eye and this is a weak photo to end with. Um, she's beautiful. I'm not seeing a pose. I'm not seeing, yeah, your, half your face is covered. There's nothing. I'm not seeing the clothes. It's weak. These photos, you guys, don't, don't put them out there. When you shoot like 500 photos, give them 10 literally the best and the best of the best okay there's so much that you can do that you can control that's why i think this video is going to help you and watch the guy version too if you want more of these also please let me know i will do more of them it's a little bit of a longer video but i think there's a lot for you to learn and thank you so much watch this video it's going to help you out too